Okie dokie, podcast time. <laughs> the fucking face you make, man. I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it as well. How do you, how you do it? My dad can do it really well. I got it. Yeah, your dad. That, you and your dad. Same, you can do that same thing. It's just. You go from you know, happy to. You know, it looks like. Uh, How many, how many times have you practiced that in the mirror? That's insane. That's just insane. Uh, no, you know what it looks like? It looks like that Jeff Dunham puppet, the old puppet. That's what it oh, reminds yeah, me. Yeah, 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 the old man. Um, yeah, it looks like <laughs> somebody's got his arms crossed. You know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway, so uh, it's Brackets Hunter, the After Show podcast. Enough making faces. We got to get to it. It's time for fact and opinion. One awesome fact, one dumb opinion. You do what you want with it. We don't give a shit. That's your prerogative, man. So let's do. Mm, I do have some decent ones, but I just want to. I want to get the best one. Uh how about this one? How about this one? The U.S. Department of Defense buys more explosive devices than anyone else in the world. But who's number two? Do you know who number two is, Hunter? Could it be Russia or China? Walt Disney Company. God ah, damn, really? No shit. All right. Walt Disney Burr. is the second most yeah. explosion buying c- companies people out there in the you world. You know what it is? It's, 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 it's the famous fireworks over the, the Disney castle. They do. That's that's what they said. They said uh, uh, because of all the fireworks they buy for their parks. Yeah. So if you think about it, how many Disney, I mean, there's Disney lands all over. There's Disney worlds all, all around. And they do fireworks, what, every night, basically? So, yeah. yeah. That's yeah, I think it is. It's it's every night, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, we were there on a random like Tuesday night one time. Sure enough, boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Fireworks. I'm sure the people that live next to it love it. <sighs> I mean, if, if you like fireworks, maybe you get uh, you get a free fireworks show all sure. the time. But yeah, there there might be a time where it's like, all right, I get it. All with right. the fireworks, man. Right. Yeah, right. yeah. I hate I hate Mickey Mouse. I hate everything oh, about him. Son of Mickey. a bitch. I hate Goofy. Everything about it. Look, I'm going to be completely honest. The older I've gotten, the more I've, I, I, and maybe I'm way off, but I feel like Disney's actually kind of evil. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like a company. The, the more you look into there, it. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you know what it is? It starts with the park employees, man. Some of the shit that they got to go through and some of the yeah. rules that they have to abide by. And did, yep. didn't they like extend those rules a little bit more even this year? Like we, we did some bit on that on the show. Well, it, it was something. It was. Well, I remember you, either you told me or it was a fact where it's like up until like recently, like the last like five years, uh, they had underwear that the cast had to share. So like it was underwear that was worn inside of the costumes yeah, that well, they would just wash, and it's like, uh, no, yeah, I'm not. I'm not hopping into that sweaty ass underwear that the guy in the goofy costume yeah. was wearing. It's like, no, yeah. man. So yeah. I, had a, I had a buddy out of high school. He went down to and did that thing where you can like be an intern. Or I don't know. I think you get paid, but uh, yeah, you go down there. You work for Disney for a year, yeah. and uh, he came back, dude. He he came back looking like he fucking served like four years as a president, dude. I'm telling you, he came back with PTSD. He's like, dude, I'm <laughs> never going back to that place again. Don't Thousand yards there. Don't support what they do. It is absolutely insane what happens behind the scenes. I guess it's pretty miserable, man. The rules, I guess, are just just. Like there's weird rules where you're like, what? Well, okay, so yeah, let me j- jump like, in because a- with any with any company, you gotta have rules. You gotta you gotta make sure you you follow things because people are going there for a certain experience. So I get that, mm-hmm. but yeah, I'm sure there's some. You know what? Let's look it up here. There's got to be some crazy Disney rules. Yeah, there really is. Like, I'm trying to come up with them a few off the top of my head, but there's a few of them. You're just like, what? You just what? No, that's like a cult. It, it, it- no. Here's one. 25 intense rules every Disney and park employee has to go. follow. Now, this was written in November of 2019. Okay. So maybe some things have changed, but... Uh, you get an idea. Uh, yeah, they can't have visible tattoos. All right, that's not that big. Which I think changed. That's the one that changed. You can have okay. tattoos now. Uh, they must have a unique name. Back when Walt Disney first opened Disneyland, he insisted that everyone be on a first name basis with each other. This leads to more camaraderie and less fear between people at different levels of work. Hmm. Uh, But yeah, like, okay, so if you're named Jennifer and there's another more senior Jennifer on your shift, you're given a temporary name tag with a different name to wear while you work. 
What is this, like a football team you're putting together here, for God's sakes? But no, this one doesn't. Yeah, this one does isn't that crazy to me. Staying in character is a must. You know, I get that, you For know, sure. because people are there expect and you don't want to if you're acting as a princess, you don't want to break character when there's some little girl who actually thinks you're Cinderella, you know. Mm -hmm. So uh, that fact that fact goes pretty deep though because I, I think even behind scenes you have to be if you're on ground. <laughs> Just in, case, just in case I can see that just in case someone sees you, which that one's that doesn't that's not too crazy to me. All right, you can't eat on the job. That's not that nuts. Uh they aren't allowed to say I don't know. Hmm. Disney customer service standards require each employee to go out of their way to help guests with whatever problem or question they may have. Oh, okay. and even so, if it's so not, instead of shunning off somebody with a question, yeah. you have to find them an answer, whether you know it or not. Yep, even if it's in no way their department. Right. Oh, so, there you go. Okay. So, so they, they, these are rules trying to create this this place. So keep going. Yeah. Uh, characters must learn their autograph. Okay, that seems pretty basic. Uh, they can't blab about their role. Body piercings are off limits. All right. Um, nothing exists outside of Disney. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, so For, you know yeah. what that is? That's that's a mind frame thing. So you gotta yep. have the mind frame of this is the whole entire world. So they're they're really trying to create the world of Disney. And yeah, these rules are what. This is why these rules are in place to to make people believe that they are in a fairy tale land. So here they must act like nothing exists outside of Disney universe while on shift. They can acknowledge other characters and things that aren't from their movie, but have to act like they've never heard of things that don't exist in Disney films. For example, if you ask Cinderella, which Hogwarts house she would be in or question Peter Pan about his favorite fast food restaurant, they would have to act like they have no clue what you're on about. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, hair must look a certain way. Costumes have to stay in the park. Uh, let's see. There are heart height requirements. Okay. You know, so, uh, so here's, here's what I was kind of talking about with my buddy who went there and, and these rules, I don't think is anything he's talking about. I think he's talking about like the stay there and the rules like outside of the park and w you got like curfews, you know, you can't drink, you can't go to bars. You can't, it, it's like, it's like a camp almost. So these yeah. are like rules for the inside of the park. I think what he's talking about is like when you're done with your job, like you just don't, you can't just go home. It's like, you're not yeah. done with your job. Like, like yeah, you're yeah. living that life 24 seven. Like, you can't get away from it. I, I'll be honest. I'm not a big Disney guy. And I don't, don't get me wrong. I enjoy some of it. Like I don't lose my mind over Disney. And I think even as a kid, there wasn't like, Oh, I love Disney. You know, yeah. have you I, been to the park? Never been, never been. So, Go to the park. I mean, you're having a kid, so maybe maybe spend the thousands and thousands of dollars. That that's to, what I'm not to, looking forward to. I'm not to, looking forward to my daughter become wanting to be a Disney princess, and now I have to take her to Disney yeah. and spend thousands of dollars to go yeah. do this. You so why I mean? we why we I've been there twice, I think, and the reasons I went yeah. there twice because our high school band was fucking awesome. Dork. And my my cousin was I wasn't part. My cousin was oh, a part did. of the band. <laughs> <laughs> but because he was part of the band, the whole family went to go watch him, which included oh, nice. me. So I got my ticket vouched for through that. So yeah. I think we went twice. And dude, I must say, it, it is fun. It, yeah. it, you definitely do feel like you're in a different world almost. You know, it kind of takes well, you away from reality a little bit. And the rides are absolutely phenomenal. You know, some uh, of the technology that they put in these things nowadays is just ridiculous. You can drink there now too. Okay, question for you. Do they have a fast pass? I'm not sure. So I don't. I, maybe I don't. Not that I can recall, but maybe I know they serve beer. They serve beer now. I'm gonna look this up. Hold on. Does Disney? I don't think so. I don't think they have a fast pass. pass. Maybe they uh, do. I'm gonna look. For sure, Cedar Point does for sure. Uh, Disney Fast Pass Plus service allows you to serve a uh, reserve access to select Walt Disney World theme park attractions, entertainment, and character greeting in advance. You can begin your Fast Pass selection at 7 a.m. Eastern time up to 30 days in advance. Okay, so it doesn't seem like you can just like because here's Jump the thing. I made, yeah, I made up my mind, and and the first time I experienced a Fast Pass was when my buddies and I went to uh uh oh, what's the big theme park Six Flags. And we waited in line for one ride and we waited like an hour and a half. And we said, we did the yeah. ride and we said, we Go said, get the fast pass. Dude, 
It's not cheap, but I don't care. I will save money. I will always, every park I've been to ever since then, rides, I always buy the Fast Pass. It worth makes it. A, the price is absolutely worth it. So I'm going to have to keep this in mind uh, when it comes time to uh, take my daughter there when she wants to go see princesses. Cause, would, yeah. you go to, would you go to Cedar Point and ride roller coasters? What I absolutely do. I love yeah, it. Like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I, I, I can't remember if you like. I will coaster. say though, what did, we did one. It's it wasn't Cedar Point. What's the other? What's the other one? Not too far six, from here. Six Flags. Not Six Flags. They uh, got the wood rides. Oh, uh, uh, Michigan's, uh, Michigan's Adventure, right? Michigan Adventure. Yep. That one. That, that wood dude, roller coaster. Dude. So Kiki and I did that run, all right? <laughs> and we sat in oh, the back. The one. Dude, we sat in the back in that. <laughs> That one that goes over, that was the first time I was actually kind of scared on a ride. And not that I was worried about it collapse. It's just the when you sit in the back and it does that big drop, dude, I felt like I was going to get catapulted out of that oh, yeah. thing. Like, what? Yeah, but yeah, yeah. You know, I love roller coasters, man. I I, I, I love them. So, yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll go too, do that. Me too. But I will say I'll never get on another wooden one. Dude, I, no. I felt like I had to go to the hospital. After yeah, they, that one. they beat you up pretty good. Dude, they beat you up my brain. Good. My Dude, my spine was going to disconnect from my fucking brain, and, it felt like. And look, I know uh, they have great people on staff that check that out, but on a big wood roller coaster, unless you're checking that thing every day, like, like dude, it's, it's still wood. It's still you know? wood. And it's, it's out in the elements, and I don't care how much you treat that. At some point in time, so there's going to be that rotten board, and that yeah. bolt's going to come uh, loose. You know what I mean? And but I'm going to be on the damn thing when it yeah, happens. That, yeah. that's, a, that's a problem. I want that thing welded to the earth, okay? I want <laughs> I want lag bolts, you know, two feet long just in there, man. Yeah, yeah, you know? That's funny. Fantastic. Uh, I'll never forget. Like I love fairs and frolics and roller coasters. The funniest thing ever, dude. I feel so bad laughing about it. And I still laugh when I think about oh, it. God. There's the, at, at the frolic, all right? You know, carnies. This is the carnies, okay? There's a ride back in the hometown, and they do it every year. And it it tilted and it spun, all right? So okay. you just sat you sat in a little cart. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. then it spun. So it it get on its axis and it's Is that the one where they play the loud music, too? It's, it's oh, always some, like, like loud God. techno music going uh, my brother got in it and we were younger our folks were with us at this and so my brother got in it well for some reason it didn't latch all the way so his little lap bar came oh, God, up and all that was holding him in so this thing is going around but what was hilarious is we're <laughs> he look thing, his face. dude because he's <laughs> <laughs> He'd come whipping around, just terrified. And ah! then he'd, 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 he'd come whipping around. Ah! So so this is what it was. This, this is how it worked. This is how it worked. All right. So he'd, he'd be, ah! <laughs> You'd see him for just a split second as he's terrified as this thing's going around. Oh my oh, god. god. And he'd Turn go back. Jesus. Oh dude. my god. You know what, yep. He legit felt like he was gonna die. I, I, I Oh, I don't blame him. I don't blame him. That was that was horrifying. You oh. know? Have you ever thrown up on a roller coaster or a ride? Never thrown up. Never th see now. I'm smart though. Is that it, I'm sure as a kid I handled it better. You know, you'd go get the corn dog and the cotton candy, and you could handle it a little. But now as an adult, I don't eat a bunch at the park. One because it's no. super expensive, and two, I don't want to upchuck uh, uh, on the ride. So the uh, yeah. pirate ship got me one time as a kid. Oh, dead nice. man! I held out to the dude. I held it, held it, held it. And I got off, and as soon as I got off to the ramp, you know, the ramp that takes you off, <laughs> just boop. It, it was embarrassing. God, there's nothing more embarrassing about puking in front of a bunch of people, throwing up in public, off a ride. Like, look at this yeah. pussy, couldn't handle yeah, sort of it. There's uh, some little kid that barely was tall enough for the ride runs past, you know, like pussy. You know what you do? I, you know what I think you do? I think if you're gonna get sick on a ride, you lean into it. You, you get off that ride and just start screaming at people. Get yeah. the house. I'm gonna and you, throw up. You keep keep your eyes open. <laughs> <laughs> you start chasing people. That's what you Just do. Project a straight up, you know, exorcist projectile vomit. Like, like, like <laughs> Problem Child. Remember that movie, Problem Child? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I'll never forget too. I wanted that that frolic. On, oh God, this was the worst. Someone. It was on the zipper. Which, by the way, that's the most terrifying ride in the world. The zipper. I don't care what anyone says, dude. Just mostly because it was put together by hungover carnies, and like yeah. the only thing holding that door closed is a little hairpin. Like, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. close, man, man. Door, come on. The door wiggles, dude. 
Yeah. Uh, I remember getting on one time, and literally the guy is hosing off the vomit from the previous person. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, can I wait till the next one? He's like, no, either get it now or you got to go back to the line. I'm like, fuck. All right, yeah. fine. You get in there. It smelled yeah. great, huh? Oh, dude, ter- that terrible fucking <laughs> sawdust smell. Just awful, man. It like, flips upside down. You get a bunch of sawdust. Oh, oh, you missed the spot on the ceiling. Oh, oh God, dude. dude. <laughs> You know the only ride I don't like? The only one I... Well, there's two. There's two I, I will refuse to do at the this The ring point. of fire because you're a pussy. You don't yeah, like no. going upside down. Yeah, no, I'll do that one, dude. I love going upside down. <laughs> no, and honestly, they're pretty mild ones. I don't... I will never, ever, 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 ever get in these uh, the chain seats that spin. Oh, yeah, the swing. It, it, maybe if it was stayed on the ground. But the ones that go up and you Wait get up, up, you know, like, like 50 feet, and they go, fuck that. Uh, I've seen that then, video of that one failing. That's a dude, terrible I, I will never. I don't care. I will never get on one of those. And then also the one I don't do anymore is the Gravitron because oh, yeah. I got I gave myself such a sore neck from sitting there and like trying to pull uh, your head. You're right. And dude, I, dude, I was I like it, I thought uh, I was going to die. Oh, dude, I, I, I can dude, feel I, it. That, and it makes me feel like my heart, dude. My heart. Hold yeah. on, dude. Yeah. No, like, those are the, the two like I the won't pressure do on my body like that. No, you know, it no. is good to go in at once just to see what it's like, but hey, that's at one time's good for me. Do you ever go upside down in it? The guy yells at oh, you in the middle of the oh, DJ or whatever, of course, hey, of course. Yeah, turn around, hey, turn around. turn around, turn around. You're sitting there and you're just waiting for that seat to go, yeah, oh, yeah. Man. Oh, yeah. I always try to like get off of the and like hold on to the middle bar, see yeah. if I can totally get off of the wall, <laughs> you know, and, and then, then you, you lose- get off and you can't, yeah. you can't even move, you're just a little sore. <laughs> But yeah, those are the only ones I won't do. But anyway, all right. Well, this has gone on long enough. So we uh, it was a good conversation. Started it with was. crazy ass Disney, and now we're talking about gravitrons. Uh, thank you so much for hanging out. This has been the Plan B After Show podcast. We'll see you next time with another fact and opinion uh, with Brock and Hunter. We'll see you uh, later. I got to find the button. Where's uh, I was using the wrong mouse? Sorry.